Painter Reem al Jiali left much behind when she fled Sudan for Egypt, as war erupted around her, including all her artworks, except a small sketch she always carries in her bag. Her studio is in the Khartoum 2 area, where heavy fighting has been taking place. We had big dreams for our country. Now we don't know if we go back what we will find in the places that were familiar to us. Yesterday we heard that our house was looted, so we're not sure what we will find when we go back. Sudan's emerging art scene finds itself scattered by war. Painter and retired art professor Salah Abdul Hai came to Cairo with his wife and two daughters. He took works from their frames, rolled them up and brought them with him. Bigger works were left behind. We are afraid for all of Sudan's heritage, fine arts, music and everything. These people can destroy everything because they have no idea. Rahim Shadad co-founded Downtown Gallery in Sudan's capital in 2019. He says Sudanese artists gained momentum four years ago from the popular uprising against autocrat Omar al-Bashir, who strictly controlled cultural activities. Al-Bashir deleted um, archives, he burned paintings, he uh, confiscated a lot of, a lot of um, artistic and literature. Uh, productions. So, um, the, the, and so, so the artists were forced to be in these bubbles and um, sort of like it was, they had their own silent cries. Shadad's gallery has raised just over $8,500 of a $30,000 target to support artists financially during the war. He tells them not to give up. The, the art scene was really going somewhere. There was so much interest, so many things happening, um, many exhibitions. Um, last uh, February, there were three op openings of exhibitions happening on the same evening, and that has never happened in the history of art scene in Sudan. Um, this war, I, it's, it's sad to, to see it even uh, attempting to stop this momentum.